I'm cooking all the recipes from this cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. Welcome to Jamie and Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. In the dessert chapter today, making some orange Bavarian cream, a cold dessert, Bavara à l'orange. When properly made, it has the most lovely, light, creamy, velvety quality and ranks as one of the best molded desserts ever. I added ever. I'm excited for the Bavarian cream. Let's make it. One fine, bright skinned orange. Wash and dry the orange. One sugar lump. And I bought a whole box of sugar lumps, so I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. And there's my one. This is called a sugar cube, but I'm assuming it's the same thing as a sugar lump. Rub the sugar lump over the orange until all sides of the sugar cube are impregnated with the orange oil. That's what it says, a verbatim. Like so, say sa. Need a mixing bowl. And what I need to do with this is mash the sugar lump into the bowl. I mean, that didn't really generate a lot of interest, in my opinion, from me. So I'm going to do another one just to have a little more sugar. Grate up the zest of the orange into the bowl with the sugar. Okay, there we go. I squeeze the juices of this orange. Make one quarter pint of strained juice. Maybe I should break it down. Squeeze it in the lemon thing. I gotta say, there's not much juice in this orange. Since I'm halving the recipe, I only need around 60 milliliters of this juice. I'm only at around 50 milliliters. I need 10 more to go. Luckily, I bought another orange. I'm gonna half that. Strain the pulp out of it. Mission accomplished. So following the procedure for creme anglaise, page 624, add the egg yolks into the sugar in the mixing bowl. Okay. I think I get it. No, I don't get it. I do get it. Okay, I do get it. So remember to half everything. So seven egg yolks. I need three and a half egg yolks. And I'm gonna need the egg whites for something down the road, so let me just keep a hold of those in another bowl. So be careful when I'm doing this because I wanna reuse every part of this egg, except for the shell, of course. So I'm good at that. It was just three eggs. Did a quick search online uh, to find out what the conversion is on uh, gelatin powder, quarter ounce, to gelatin sheets. And apparently it's three sheets of gelatin. Now these ones are kind of beaten up because they're left over from my gingerbread house. Wait, do I have to bloom this sh first? Before I can start working with this gelatin, of course, you need to let it bloom. So throw the gelatin into that bowl there and give that around 10 minutes. 177 milliliters of milk. And I'm gonna add this to the microwave and when I'm ready to use this, I'm gonna nuke it until it's like boiling. But I don't need it right now, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. And now go back to the creme anglaise, and I think I get what's going on here. So egg yolks into the orange sugar. Three ounces, 85-ish grams of granulated sugar. Add it in a little bit at a time into this egg yolk thing. Pale yellow and forms the ribbon stage. Totally. Beat in a teaspoon of corn flour. Okay, now I'm gonna heat up the milk. I'm gonna beat this in a thin stream. Okay, I don't know how much milk that was, I can't remember, so I'm just hoping that's correct. We'll have to check the footage on that. 177 milliliters. So into the saucepan it goes. So I'm gonna put this over here. My gelatin sheets have bloomed. I'm just gonna squeeze out the excess water. I'm sure I could have just bloomed it in the orange juice. I wasn't thinking. Anyway, this is gonna go into the orange juice and I'll just let that hang out over here. Moderate heat. Keep your eye on it, keep it stirring. I'm gonna heat up the mixture and I'm just gonna know when it's done. I'm not gonna follow the book here with 170 degree Fahrenheit. I've done that before and it overcooked it and it cooked the eggs and I didn't like it. It was gross. I might have just made scrambled eggs. So instead, I'm going to uh, not do that. I'm just gonna do it by eye. The mixture needs to coat the spoon lightly. Never mind what I just said. I'm gonna use the thermometer, see what happens. 
Uh, it's way over 170, so I'm gonna take it off right now. Really quickly, I gotta get this out of this hot pot. What do I gotta do? Do not overheat or egg yolks will scramble. I know, I've been there. Immediately add this orange juice gelatin mixture. Once the gelatin has dissolved, I'm gonna add it to a mixing bowl and I guess forget about it for a second. Just put it off to the side until it comes up again. Got myself a clean mixing bowl. Uh, transfer the egg whites from one bowl to another bowl. Terrific, good job. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. Cleaned off the mixer attachments and away we go, people. So we're headed to stiff peak territory. Once we reach soft peak uh, territory, I need to add in a tablespoon of sugar and then continue on my way to stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks? Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Fold the egg whites into the custard. The custard has to be hot. It's still very warm. I hope, hope that's okay. It's close to incorporated as I can get. I gotta have this cool off in the refrigerator. And then while it's in the fridge, I'm gonna keep like folding it to make sure that it's, it's not separating. I'll just keep watching it and folding it. And I think by the time I clean up a little bit, we'll be ready. Okay. So in a freezer, I have a chilled bowl and my chilled, and where's my chilled cream? So I'm gonna add 60 milliliters of chilled cream into the bowl here. Beat it up until it doubles in volume. Beater leaves faint traces on the surface. All right, those are more than faint, but I'm cool with it. It's doubled in volume for sure. I'm gonna need some orange liqueur. This is Cointreau. All right, so I got my chilled custard mixture. Fold the whipped cream into the custard. Measuring, it's, it's not, a tablespoon's not available, so I'm just gonna use my eye. One tablespoon, plus a little for good luck, of the Cointreau. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this next part I have been dreading because I don't know what the right answer is. I need to use some sort of mold to chill this cream in, or several molds. I haven't decided yet. Some people online use something like this, uh, and they poured the cream into this. Remember that I halved my recipe, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to make this look nice. Plus, I don't really like the look of this thing. Like, I don't think this thing looks cool. It's not my style. What I was thinking, call me crazy, is if I just do this my own way, don't listen to the book, and then I'm gonna chill this cream into my own uh, vessels. So I'm thinking the same way I did the chocolate mousse. This is kind of nice too, maybe I'll use this as a mold too. So rinse in cold water, done. Shake out the excess. Really hope I'm doing this correct. Shake out the excess. Turn the Bavarian cream into the mold. Lightly oiled grease proof paper. Chill these for three to four hours or overnight. I don't know which one just yet. I haven't decided yet. We'll decide in three or four hours. Okay. So, you know, an undisclosed amount of time later. Remove the paper and then dip mold into very hot water for one second. For what? One, for one second, oh. That's just said one minute. And then run a knife around the edge of the cream. Reverse on a chilled serving dish. Of course not. Why would it come out? These things never go the way you want them to. Oh, if I lift it up a bit, I can hear it coming off the sides there. What am I doing? That makes no sense. Shimmy it over, shimmy. Shimmy it, shimmy, shimmy to the center of the plate. Okay, that thing melts really fast. So I'm gonna shave off a little orange rind onto the top of this one to make it look nicey nice. Unless you think I should unmold this one. I'm not gonna unmold this one. For this one, I believe I'm gonna put this orange right on the center. And then zest around this one as well. Order up. I 
mean, personally, I prefer the one I didn't unmold because it's, um, it's still nice and cool in here and it's like kept its shape better. Mm -hmm. It's the bitterness of the orange. It's still sweet and it's got like, uh, you can taste the booze in it. I just love this kind of dessert. This one is amazing. Then there's the crepe Suzette, which is the best dessert ever. I love orange flavored desserts. Easily, I could eat all of this and the other one right now. <laughs> it's eating like a cloud or something. Okay, that's it. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Shout out to my patrons supporting the show right here. Curious about what's going on over there. There's a link in the description. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir.